Hey everybody, you should be drinking too. I am watching All Rewards Flatline and it is making me sad tonight. And if your rewards are flatlining too, this is, this is for you right here. Okay, now I'm not blaming this on the price of HNT. It is going down. Um, it's at uh, less than 28.5 right now. That's kind of depressing too. I thought it would maybe stop at 30, but I guess it just keeps wanting to go down. That being said, the whole market is going down. I'm watching Bitcoin drop, wondering if it's going to hit 40,000 anytime soon. If it does, maybe I'll buy it. And that being said, guys, maybe this is the best time to be investing in um, cryptocurrency, not mining it. But um, mining it is what we do, so we're going to talk about it. Now, many of you may be offline or maybe you're sinking. I don't know what's going on. When I look here at uh, who is sinking and who is offline, I see like Calchip, 18% offline, Bobcat, 10% offline, Helium, 29% uh, offline, Rack Wireless, Slash minted, 7% offline, sense cap, 10% offline. I hear a lot of people who have Nebris talk, 23% uh, offline. Seems like a lot. But that might have n nothing to do. It might have nothing to do with what is going on right now with Helium's network. So let's take a look here. I'm not going to read all of this. I'm just going to read the beginning part with the snapshot loading. So uh, this is an official announcement from Helium. Blockchain release, snapshot loading, and UPNP improvements. The core developers have tagged a new 2021.12.14.0 hotspot firmware release, which includes recommended bug fixes in Erlang-libp2p and blockchain-core, specifically in snapshot loading and UPnP. Now again, I just want to focus on the snapshot loading. This change helps with the case where a snapshot obtained by checking latest.json instead of the snapshot in the config file was interrupted during loading. If the snapshot in the config file was older, this would lead to the node determining it had completed the load of the snapshot and attempting to move on to, onto block sync. This would often not work and the node would be stuck. So I heard a lot of people who were stuck just like me. I released a video called More or Less Resolved, um, Syncing Issues Resolved, where I had to update uh, the actual card, the SD card. I put a new one in that was double the size and much faster. It was an A2 instead of an A1. I uh, flashed that with the new firmware and I made sure that I was completely uh, open uh, for open port 44158. I was not relayed and that seemed to have worked. It did bring in the new snapshot and fix the problem, but for those of you who didn't try that, hopefully this would have worked for you. Now I'm going to tell you, this messed up a whole lot of my Helium hotspots. In which case, they just said maybe 30 minutes ago, Helium hotspot firmware release packet forwarder config update. The Helium hotspot firmware developers have identified an issue with how the low WAN Low raw WAN packet forwarder is configured on all rack minted and Helium V1.1 hotspots after POC V11 activation. We are issuing an emergency release to these devices to address this issue. Yay! Hopefully I'll make some money today. Hotspot owners would have noticed a lack of data transfer and POC activity since POC V11 activation when there was activity immediately before, of course, on some of these their devices, just some of them. This firmware release should fix this particular issue. Well, I, I really, I hope so. So please, let's, let's release it soon. We have tagged 2021.14.14.1 and will be issuing an emergency fix after a short period of testing slash verification. Other hotspot manufacturers do not need to take this update as it only affects Helium and Rack hotspots. 
We do recommend that all hotspot manufacturers double check their packet forwarder settings to use the on-chain region parameters now that POC v11 has been activated. See prior communications from the DWE MOC on this matter. Um, I've not seen the prior communications. I don't have a password to get in. I don't know what I need. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. Um, and I would love to know what the on-chain region parameters are. But point being is, many of my hotspots are not getting rewards right now. And I would like to know why. So if this is the reason and it's fixed, then I am happy. Let's just... Let's just implement it. Let's get this. Let's get this party started. Okay. So long marmalade shrimp. That is the main hotspot in my house. It has been offline for about a day and a half. Not happy. This happened. Uh, this happened when POC v11 was released. This is my aftermath of no rewards. Uh, I saw the update of one two point one four. Didn't make a difference. It did get me to the point where this should say it's not sinking anymore. But that being said, it's not sinking and not making me any money. It's at 100% and not making me any money. Dizzy Corn Flower Beetle. Um, I don't really think this is uh, Helium's fault. I believe my sister-in-law changed the password on, uh, her, uh, on her router. And I got to go <laughs> get it fixed. This is the problem, by the way, with... Uh, with having hotspots at other people's houses. Don't don't you love that? Don't you love when people told you, oh man, helium mining, passive income, you don't have to do anything. You just put it in your house and money comes pouring in at you. Just breathe in the money. Oh yeah, it smells so good, the money. Well, um, instead I'm constantly going to people's houses fix, fixing issues like... Uh, Beautiful Quartz Nightingale. These are uh, my renters at one of my houses, and they don't seem to know how to restart a router. Apparently not. Um, anyway, I guess after two days, they must have sometime today. And then with, uh, you know, 12.14, uh, it must have synced up 100% and now started making money. I hope it has. I hope it's... I hope it's not dead again. I don't even want to look right now. I don't want to look. Uh, hot, uh, sorry, Clever Blonde Tadpole, um, also one of my houses. Uh, we got them a new router. Everything seems to be working. Very happy. Uh, that being said, it's only making like 0.15 when it used to make like 0.5. So that's not making me happy. Don't you miss the... Good old days that were like two months ago. I do. Um, Happy Raspberry Worm, my downtown hotspot. Uh, I was looking at its average over 30 days. Right now, yeah, it's been dead for uh, for about three days now. Something like that. Not happy, of course. Uh, Want to see it making money. But it's not really making that much. I mean, it's probably making somewhere under 2 HNT a month. Uh, we've been doing it with an 8 dbi antenna many people have asked me to try out a 5.8 they want to see what happens downtown and i will show you the result once my buddy is home and we can make sure we find out what is going on with this miner okay uh quaint wooden beaver now quaint wooden beaver is an interesting story quaint wooden beaver got up and running uh after 18 days of not earning anything and that was the whole problem that i just talked about before where we had to put a new sd card in it and finally about i'm gonna say 28 hours ago it was fixed and started making money and then something happened yesterday yes and it stopped it was it was getting rewards and then all of a sudden a beacon was sent and it stopped and i've gotten challenged beaconers but that's it. And I don't know why. My hope was that it was because in those 18 days, I just never thought about reasserting the location. The location is some uh, four uh, kilometers from my house. So maybe they can triangulate things now with POC V11 a little better than they could before. So I reasserted it about seven hours ago and sent another challenge beaconer. 
but I uh, haven't, haven't seen anything else fixed. So, you know, maybe this new update will fix it. I don't know. I really want to know, though, uh, whether they can start triangulating us a little better in our location with POC V11. And if they can, would they just stop giving us witnesses? That, that, that would be really good information for us to know. Okay, uh, the rest of my short cloth peacock. This is Chad's house. We just put it in yesterday. Um, everything's open. All the connections seem like it's working. It's just sinking. So I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting for it to go up and running. Again, this is a rack wireless. So maybe it's part of the problem happening now. Uh, this uh, Dazzling Crimson Rabbit. Uh, this one is at Carlos's house up in um, Fort Collins. It was making great money, but then his roommates left with the Wi-Fi. So he had to get a new system and get it up and running. And then it was sinking for a long time and then just went offline. So is it on? Is it off? I don't even know anymore. I'm going to have to find out this weekend. And uh, Shaggy Iris Possum, that was another one I was doing a test with at my house. Wanted to compare Rack Wireless with Synchrobit, but uh, around, I guess, around 1 o'clock, I think that is when the 12.14 uh, firmware came out, and it killed it. Yeah, killed it. And that being said, I don't know if... Uh, if we're killed here, I I see I see we got a little bit of rewards right there. So um, proper gray porcupine, by the way, is my synchro bit. Synchro bit I've been having a lot of problems with. I have been researching. Um, it used to only make like 0 0.06. I finally, as you can see, I'm making some real money with it. Uh, 0.22. Maybe I can get this up to a 0.3. If it is I will be happy, but I will be very confused because, like I said, I'm testing it against Shaggy Iris Possum, which is at 0.33. But look, it has like 679 beacons, 168 witnesses. I am nowhere near that here. So, what's going on? Are is there earnings I'm not seeing? Why would it have way less beacons yet uh, be earning? A, Earnings close to uh, the same of the earnings that are close to what uh, Shaggy Iris Possum is making. I don't know. I, these are the things I research in my house for you guys. Hopefully, I can figure out a solution. I really want to see SynchroBit do well. It is not. I have been testing some power options, some configurations uh, within its, uh, its dashboard. Uh, there are a bunch of things that I keep asking uh, it's support, and they're not telling me. But hopefully I'll figure this out soon. In the meantime, I would like to see some good rewards. Because when I look at my workspace here and see that I've gone from a daily average, which honestly, 55 is not great. I was making like 150 two months ago, but it is what it is. Now it's 55, and now it's more, it's more like 30 because of everything that's happening. I know you're frustrated. I'm frustrated. We want to see things get better. So uh, let's take a moment of silence here and uh, hope that uh, that this this update 12.14.1 will fix it. So moment of silence. Okay, please like and subscribe and. I usually end with happy mining, but uh, all I can say tonight is try to be happy.